The Kim Wall Award for Creative Digital Storytelling is sponsored by Molly Bingham. The citation goes to Michelle Meisner, Katie Wirth, Carla Borres, Rainey Aronson, and Andrew Metz of Frontline and Ground Truth for The Last Generation. The winners are David Halbfinger, Yusur Alhilo, John Wu, Malachi Brown, and Iyad Abuela of the New York Times for the death and life of a Gaza medic. When 20-year-old medic Ruzan Al-Najir was killed by an Israeli bullet in Gaza last June, she instantly became a symbol of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. In this five-month interactive investigation, the New York Times not only captured the complex life and death of a charismatic young woman from Gaza, but also revealed how the shot that killed her was potentially a war crime. Rosanna Najjar's life was defined by the fence that divides Gaza and Israel. She was born in its shadow in a southern border town. She saw it from the roof of her home, where as a child she played with toy stethoscopes. And when she imagined studying medicine abroad, she, it teased her through her classroom windows. She watched as tanks rumbled past it and into her neighborhood during multiple wars with Gaza, with Israel. And when protests broke out last year, she treated the injured at its footsteps while, ar while armed soldiers looked on. She was the first woman to do so. But at 629 on June 1st, Razan took her final glance at that fence when she was shot and killed by Israeli soldiers. Razan was 20 years old. She was buried and will lay forever in the shadow of that fence. Our investigation into her life, into her death, was the result of an incredible collaborative effort. I'd like to name a few of those. I'd like to name a few of the exceptional t and talented collaborators who helped bring it all together. David Halfinger, who couldn't be here, our Jerusalem bureau chief and a thoughtful, thoughtful storyteller, along with his entire bureau, with his entire bureau, and his editors Herbert and Michael Slagman. Mona Al Nagar, our senior producer who forced, I mean encouraged, us to embrace our challenges. John Wu, who also couldn't be here, our patient and poetic editor. Neil Collier, our, our field producer. Iyad Abuhuela, our local reporter and our trusted driver, Abu Fadi. Our 3D model magicians, forensic architecture, along with Tim Chafee. And finally, Maliki Brown, the force behind our forensics efforts. A sincere thank you to the OPC for recognizing this work and honoring Roseanne's legacy. I know I'm past my allotted time, but I just want to pass the mic on to my colleague, Maliki. Thanks, Thanks very much. Uh, we weren't there the day that uh, Roseanne Al-Najjar uh, died, but uh, dozens of other people were there. And you know, a big component of this story was the evidence that they gathered through cell phones and, and what have you. It's a, really, it's a new way of bearing witness from a distance um, by analyzing that um, and, and together, you know, we wouldn't have been able to find the truth of what happened uh, uh, were it not for the dozens of people who, uh, who helped us along the way with that. Um, and uh, just a word of thanks and credit to Michael Slackman for seeing the vision for um, that on the ground reporting plus um, this uh, forensic visual analysis. Thanks.